Hey everyone, welcome to another video of the Buster Monkey. My name is Luca and if you like painting like I do, you're in the right place, don't move. Today you're gonna see me working on a piece for a personal product called Killers. Uh, I'm gonna cover some key steps that I do every time in every painting I do so that hopefully you can learn something or I can help you to make your next painting better and stronger. Okay. This is the painting that we're gonna paint today and as you can see we have two characters there. They are Simon and Maggie and we met them here in a previous painting that I did where they were actually going towards this forest. The forest is the same one that we find in this other painting with Dimitri and uh, of course different time of day, different color and stuff like that. But let's see how I did this. First of all, it sounds pretty obvious, but the sketch as a fundamental of your painting is pretty important and you actually need to get it right because from the sketch you can get a lot of information, but you also don't want to lock yourself into already too many things established from the sketch and uh, not have too much fun uh, designing things later on. This for me is enough as a sketch. Uh, each one of us need different kind of information in order to start a painting as soon as you can. And uh, by drawing a lot and painting a lot, you will understand slowly what you need to know early on or what you, what you can figure out later. The second thing I do is actually putting a color in there immediately. I don't wait uh, to fill up the canvas uh, painting element by element, but I just go there with something that it might change and it probably will change throughout the course of the painting, but I need to actually have a direction. And in this case, you will see that the direction starts cold and ends cold. So my, my mind was already there. Of course I had to figure out how to design uh, every element, what kind of choices I wanted to do uh, later on straight in the painting, but that's actually what I like to do and uh, it's faster for me and this might be different for you. Maybe you need actually more information from the beginning in order to solve those problems or maybe you don't even need the sketch, I don't know. But as you can see I'm dividing everything in layers, everything needs to be clean, I try to pay attention to things like uh, silhouette, tangents, uh, the composition overall needs to carry your attention to those characters. At the same time, the, the environment needs to be interesting enough because this is mostly like uh, an introduction to the place more than an introduction to the characters. Of course, I try to stay organized with the layers. Uh, that's very important, especially in this phase, even if after a certain point, everything like collapse and uh, it's, it's completely gone in terms of organization, but that doesn't matter because it's a personal painting. As you can see, I started with a big branch to big tree actually to render that first because I knew that that was actually close to the characters and that was probably one of the hero trees that the eye would look at immediately. At the same time, I started to introduce some other colors, for example, in the haze and on the lights of the car, just starting to experiment how it would look if I add some green, some uh, warm areas. And of course, because of the main subject, let's say, is around the car, all the warmer stuff was around the car. And uh, so the, the second thing that I can say is, of course, starting with one color that represents the mood of your painting, the feeling that you, you want to give, uh, mystery, discovery, whatever it is, uh, uh, action or fear or uh, whatever you want to say, I would say just put it there as soon as you can and then you work around it. At least that works really well for me. Uh, I feel comfortable working that way. At this point I was pretty confident that this green and this blue were working pretty well together. Uh, like I imagine in my head. So I just kept going, uh, rendering things and uh, working on the silhouette and design and refining from uh, foreground to background and from background to foreground, back and forth. And uh, I knew that it was very busy behind those characters. So I tried to simplify and stylize those background trees as much as I could. At the same time, keeping them easy to read, clean and always supporting the characters. At this stage, I'm pretty comfortable knowing where I'm going with this painting and I keep the characters and the car uh, for last because I always, this is another advice, I always paint the environment first and uh, the characters or whatever is small in that environment later just because I know that for me it's easier to think what could affect them in terms of lighting, uh, shadow, tones, when I already have established an environment around them. Also, don't be afraid of experiment, do mistakes and try new things because throughout the, the painting being a process, uh, it, it might not come out 100% as you thought 
and your goal is to make it even better than how it is in your mind of course to solve problems take your time and understand why it's not working or how you can make it better right now i'm working on creating depth into the painting that's super important to create mood and don't forget this don't forget to add depth into your painting doesn't matter your style doesn't matter the subject Creating a strong depth, a strong connection between the environment and the characters is super important and uh, that's actually gonna make your painting stand out. It was about time to turn those lights on and that actually I think helped a lot to bring the viewer to the characters. Of course the characters are not done yet, I'm still fixing stuff, I'm still uh, rendering the car. But when I turned on the light I was like okay what do I need to see in the car because a lot of details are gonna be hidden. And this brings me to the next point which is paint only what you see and what you need. Ask yourself if you need that detail in there, if you need that brush stroke in order to sell the environment or the characters. This is gonna help for sure if you apply a whole painting thinking about this concept and this idea of uh, being essential and minimal. So here it is guys, the painting is done and to recap sketch the sketch needs to be clean easy to read and enough to understand in order to start a painting as soon as you can second ask yourself what you want to say with the painting what's the color that represents that emotion that feeling and put that color as a background make sure your painting has depth very important that you have a foreground middle ground and background very clean easy to read Isolate your subject, make sure that you know what you want to show at first, second and third read from the viewer and uh, just have fun. Remember to have fun painting. Okay guys, that was it. I hope you liked it and I hope I helped you somehow. And uh, of course, remember that the focal point is the most important thing in everything you do. So everything should drive your eye towards where you want the audience to look at. And even in a very busy environment like this one with lots of lines, lots of trees, hopefully uh, we achieve that. Remember to subscribe if you haven't yet. Click on the bell down here somewhere to be notified when a new video comes out. And uh, thank you so much for all the support guys. Follow me on social media, send me questions if you have any and let me know what you think about the video.